Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Price and Risk Tosca API Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I have already published five different lessons covering topics like introduction to API services and then introduction to API scan component within Tricentis Tosca and what are all the different options that are available in API scan project and also I have explained to you about the API scan results. So this is our lesson 5 where we will learn how can we automate API test cases by using Tricentis Tosca. So this will be our part 1 session. So I am going to publish some series of videos to complete end to end process of automating the API test cases by using Tosca. So this is our part 1 where I am going to teach you how can we export API scan results to Tosca so that you can start automating your test cases. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, so what is lesson objective? The main lesson objective is we are going to learn how can you export API scan results into Tosca or the Tosca commander so that we can create automated test cases and first of all whenever you export any API result every message that you exported from API scan to Tosca commander will return into two modules and two test steps and each module and test step represents either request or response part of the message to allow Tosca to automate and test the API and set dynamic parameters. So basically whenever you export your API scan results to Tricentis Tosca, it creates modules and also it creates test steps represents either request or response so basically in modules you will have a request module response module in test cases you will have a request test case and response test case. and you can automate your test cases based on request as well as based on your response and then you can set the dynamic parameters so that you can automate your test cases by using dynamic variables and modules contains the technical information of system under test here what is our system under test I have already explained you in my previous session is coffee shop I would recommend you guys to visit my previous session if you see on the screen the process diagram illustrates whatever we discussed so once you export the message that will be turned into module A and test step A, module B, test step B and these represents request and response that means for one API operation it creates two modules one for request another for response in the same way it creates two test cases one for request another for response and this allows us these module and test step whatever we exported from api scan results that allows task to automate your test cases and you can set dynamic parameters now let us go to tricentis task and let us understand whatever i discussed with you right now okay so now this is my tricentis task and in my previous session, I have already explained about this API 
scan module or the api scan component so you need to navigate to api testing so first of all i am into a tricentis task of workspace we already created the workspace and then i have explained about this api testing and api scan right you go to api testing tab and then you need to click on start api scan because in earlier sessions we already performed api scanning by using the visual url that is provided by presentist task which is sample coffee shop api services okay so now as soon as you click on api scan it opens your api scan project if you see here now it is opening your api scan project correct so let us expand this before you expand this so i was talking about exporting the messages right if you see here every message that you export from api scan to task commander will turn into two modules two tests now how can you export your api scan results let's go to api scan so let me do one thing let me quickly uh, let's say let me go to shops under shops i would like to execute one quick uh, let me see a simple post shops okay so let me expand this this is get shops oh, sorry here we have two services under shop three services one is get shops post shops and then put shops so let me open this get shops now so if you see here this get shops so you can see this entire structure in the left side right this because earlier we created this project that's why it opened the same project whatever we worked on earlier okay so i have explained this in my previous session i would recommend you guys to visit my previous session so now i am in post shop right now let me post a shop here okay let me post a shop that means i want to create a new shop what is the city i want to create in atlanta what is the country usa id is going to generate unique id anyway i don't want to change that and then what is the name of the shop i'm going to say it as uh, good morning coffee good morning coffee shop okay i'm naming this as now to run this particular service you need to have authentication access so basically you need to have access key so i already explained you from where you should get the access key we can get the access key from this website right so here you need to copy the same service access key and then paste service access key here okay and now run this particular post shop service as soon as i run this it's gonna give me a response with 200k 200 okay status code which means the newly created shop has been created successfully the newly requested shop has been created successfully in the database so if you see here remember this shop name okay good morning coffee shop if i go to get shops here let's go to get shops request and here if i run this before i am running this i need to again paste the access key here and then run this when i run this i should get the newly created shop see this is my newly created shop right now to export whatever the scan results we saw right just now these two services let's assume get shops and then your uh, post shops now to export these api scan results you need to select api test case module in the ribbon api test case option in the ribbon you see the api test case option currently you have three different options api test cases osc scenarios xml json test cases let me go back to my slide here you see here 
the WSC scenarios this particular option is not available in latest version see you don't have that that means that is no longer supported by tricentis nosca and then there is another option OSC scenarios OSV scenarios will be covered in OSC related course and then XML or JSON test cases so this is what will be covered in this course in a later sessions I'm going to cover this in later YouTube session but we are going to talk about API test case this is our focus for this particular session okay and then now let us again go back to our presentation task huh? now how can you export the API scan results let us see step by step what is first step I need to do firstly select the messages to export into Tasca so before you select the messages export into Tasca as I told you earlier you need to create a component folder here let's go to home click on project under project you need to create a new component folder how click on project root folder and then create component folder I'm going to create component folder saying API test automation okay so this is required to export or to import your API scan results to this particular folder so before you export API scan results to your Tricentis task you need to select this folder first select this folder now go back to your API scan right now firstly select the messages to export into task so let me go back here this one message I want to select get coffee shops and then post coffee shops let's assume I want to select these two operations within this service and then next here to select multiple operations or to select multiple functions the shift and click function does not work within the API scan however you can use control key to select multiple operations control key to select multiple operations and select this control and select this okay this way you can select multiple messages or operations and then let's select get post messages in the shop folder for now what I'm going to do I'm going to select get and post by using control right and then now messages can be exported by clicking option API test cases in the ribbon and then by default component folder will be called as API underscore import and then you can rename so that it is easier easier to identify let me see now I selected these two simply either select this and then go to API test cases and export or you can directly select API test cases let me go back to my Tasca also let me open Tasca also so that you will understand what I'm talking okay now make sure you selected this component folder okay then go back to your API scan window I already selected these messages by using control key and then click on API test cases as soon as you click on API test cases if you see observe closely this is my Tricentis task these API results should create modules and the test cases in the newly created component so now let me minimize this or let me go back to my Tricentis task expand this if you see here whatever the component I created right I can see there are four modules that are created okay let me expand all these okay 
So if you see here, let me expand all these again. See here now, I have selected two operations, get and post. You can see one module with get coffee, which is request. Another module, get coffee, response. And another module, post coffee, request, post coffee, response. These are your technical information. Same you assume like web automation. I have already published almost like 45 YouTube videos by using Trisant Tastaska. How can you automate web application, right? So in the same way, these are your modules created by your API scan. And this will contain your technical information of your coffee shop. That means request messages and response messages. And these are your test cases. By default or automatically, the test cases also got generated. Get coffee, you have get coffee, get request, and then get coffee response, you have get post coffee request, and then post coffee response. That means by using API scan itself, I'm able to export my API scan results into Tricent Tastaska so that it created modules for you and also it created test cases now. Right? Now, by using this automatically generated modules and test cases, you can start automating your test cases related to API. Let's go back here again now. So that is what we saw just now, right? And then you can start automating API test cases by using the information that is created by API scan. Now I'm going to publish part two and I'm going to show you how can you automate the test cases? How can you use the technical information from the modules? Right? And then how can you create dynamic parameters? Right? All these concepts I'm going to cover in my next three YouTube sessions. If you have any queries, leave your queries in the comment box. I'll try to respond to your queries. So you all understand the concepts of API automation part one, where I've explained you about how can we export the API scan results into Tricentis Tasca Commander so that it creates the technical information modules and it creates the test cases automatically upon exporting your API scan results so that you can start automating your API test cases. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you.